Hey guys, this is going to be my wrap-up review of the Life Gear uh, pack here. Uh, real impressed with it. Uh, the videos preceding this are going to be uh, one introduction video when I got it back in uh, late September, October. Um, I used the bag uh, solely for uh, 72 hours from a Friday night to a Sunday night and uh, only using the water provided in this pack, only provided using the food provided in this pack, um, essentially treating it like it was a real emergency. Um, the water was great because I started on a Friday night technically I actually had a little bit of extra food and water um, instead of starting Friday morning for a full 72 hours uh, I had one extra cake um, that you'll see in the in the videos uh, it's real nice they designed those cakes you know they're not the tastiest thing in the world but I'm a big guy and I really wasn't completely starved um, I didn't think about food I kept myself busy with other things uh, that I was doing around the house and around the neighborhood and stuff uh, basically treating it like it was an emergency and only using items that were in this pack the food is designed not to make you thirsty um, and I think it was really effective uh, a lot of times in an emergency if you don't have enough water um, you really don't want to be eating food because your body requires a lot of water to digest food and uh, it'll you know your body uses up a lot of fluids um, in just consuming food so if you don't have a lot of water you really don't want to be eating a lot of food uh, but you still need calories to, you know, maintain energy levels and stuff. And with the the Coast Guard rations, they just that's what they're designed for specifically, and uh, they don't make you thirsty, uh, which is great. Uh, what else we got here? I was real happy with the poncho. Uh, I should insert a video of I used it as just a rain catch using this bag. Um, it's a little bit thicker than a lot of the the cheaper uh, ponchos you get at like a Walmart. Um, it's more durable material, which I was really surprised about. The um, and it's not a uh, complete poncho; it uh, it actually has sleeves, so it's basically a hooded jacket pullover. Um, so I was really impressed with that. Uh, it's a little bit better than all the, the cheaper ponchos and stuff. Um, I even used the uh, the hygiene kit and the soap and stuff. Uh, like I said, I would add a micro um, some sort of towel or something in this kit. Uh, I EDC carried this guy for a little while and uh, while it's not the end all blades uh, especially if you're using it for pliers for a long time uh, these corners are a little bit sharp but for emergencies it's got just about everything you need uh, sharpen the blade used it to open a lot of boxes and whatnot um, it's got you know your typical screwdriver the only thing I didn't really find too useful is this sort of saw attachment um, it's got a file on one side which is great it's, it looks like more of a like a fishing uh, attachment on here than anything else. But your can opener, your bottle opener, your basic screwdrivers, everything you're gonna you run into, you know, it's gonna move uh, what you need to do. So I, I didn't have any fault with it really. Um, there's no reason you go spend 80 bucks on an extra, you know, Leatherman Wave or something to leave in your kit. Uh, what else? A couple other things. Oh, the uh, the signal mirror we didn't go over, but Maybe I'll do a, a separate video just for, you know, there's tons of videos out on YouTube on how to use a signal mirror. Um, but I want to show you, I put the protective coating back on there. Uh, it's a nice size, and it's actually big enough you can shave with. Um, so, you know, that's another thing you might want to add to the hygiene kit. Obviously, there's tons of room in here to personalize it. Um, you know, and I've gone over all the stuff, so I'm not really going to do that. You know, I've got the radio and whatnot. But uh, for the size... Uh, you can fit it just about anywhere and I highly su suggest you get it even as gifts uh, maybe if you have a, a daughter or a son going off to college or maybe they're 16 they get their first car it's just a nice peace of mind you don't have to spend the extra effort building an entire kit you just know that they're gonna have something they're gonna have a little bit of shelter you know a little bit of food a little bit of water and uh, again personalizing these sort of things like with anything first aid kits um, is gonna happen it's a natural progression uh, but I highly recommend you guys getting this and this is sort of my end review I did not have um, really anything bad to say about it uh, I, I found that most of the stuff worked pretty well um, I was even really surprised that the uh, little first aid kit has some like higher quality um, of the benzoine wipes and stuff like that uh, that you don't find in like the $99 or the 99 cent uh, kits that you can buy you know at the grocery store 
Um, everything in here is a little bit, you know, more thought out. Uh, fire starter, stuff like that I added in here. And you'll see that in the video preceding this. But let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, this has been about six months, uh, you know, testing out this kit multiple times. I tried to film as much of it as I could, uh, but trying to keep the video somewhat short without having to film an entire six months reviewing this. But um, just I went over everything, including spending an entire weekend with nothing but this kit. Uh, it's something I recommend you guys doing. Uh, I know time isn't always. Um, you know convenient and everybody wants to you know take the easy way out but um, I highly suggest you guys take 72 hours and uh, use nothing but the water packets now I did replace the um, the food and stuff that I used um, in the little side pouches what I think is pretty nice and uh, I can't say you know enough about it let me know if you guys have any questions and uh, I think it's a great piece of kit